Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Alrighty, hello, hello everyone. This week has been a little bit of a rough one on my end, and so today I thought we could do something a little bit different and a little more low-key. I'll talk a little more about what's been going on in a vlog on my other channel sometime later in this week, but for today I want to just take a minute to be still and work on my magical space. I like to keep my workspace set up for the seasons. Lately it's just become a huge mess after a lot of crafts that I've been doing, and it also fits way more with the autumn season and we are entering winter here, so it's time for a revamp. To do this, I need to take everything off of it, give it a good wipe down and clean. It is particularly covered in herbs, namely chamomile, and that all needs to be cleaned up so that it's an open workspace again. And I just want to give it more of a wintry feeling. I find when my workspace is set up more for the season, it just works better. It has a better energy, it flows nicer, and everything works here just seems to have a little extra oomph to it. It's not all going to be perfect today, but it'll be a good starting point. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is a website building and hosting company, and as I'm currently working on putting up a website, it is very exciting to get to partner with them. With Fluid Engine, a next generation website design system from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock creative design. You get to start with a best in class website template and customize every detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. You can stretch your imagination when it comes to online design with Fluid Engine, built in and ready to go on any new Squarespace site. One thing I really love about Squarespace is their flexible website template. You get to get started with one of their professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update the content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want, so your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device and can be as unique to you as you dream. Another thing that I really love about Squarespace is the ease of working an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. So if this sounds interesting to you, go to squarespace.com slash thegreenwitch to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring, and let's get back to the video. First and foremost, I need to take all of the plants and other things off the table and then I can take care of everything else, namely the chamomile spill that is taking up everything. It worked wonders in my calm bomb, but it does not need to stay on this table any longer. And honestly, neither does this guy. So let's start moving all of the plants. All right, this side is mostly complete. This ivy is connected to my entire window, so I am going to leave it put and just move it around while I clean. But all that's left are some herbs, some of which I will save, the others will be going into compost. But once I move the ones I'm keeping, it is time to move on to this side. So I'm going to be keeping some little cones, a bit of rose, and some thistle. All the rest of this will be going to compost.
So here it is, very empty. It feels huge like this. Maybe I should consider putting a few less plants back on here. But all I need to do now is clean up the chamomile and the rest of the herbs, put them into compost, and wipe down the table. Alrighty, I'm gonna do a quick wipe down with a rag and then we get to go to the fun part. I'm decorating it and making it all new. So there are a couple different ideas I have. I gathered earlier some of my more wintry style items. They're really mainly crystals and candles and things of the sort. But I've been realizing as I've been going through older footage recently that I have really allowed plants to completely take over this space, which I think I love. But I'm gonna maybe attempt a more minimalist approach to this table. We'll see. I might not be able to do that. I do have a lot of plants and a deep love for them, so I don't know how possible it'll be, but maybe. Anyways, this is the fun part, getting to set it up. So let's just feel it out. A lot of these plants here I've had for a really long time, like this ivy. I got it when I first moved here, or well, moved to Washington, and it's just been a staple ever since. It's been really loving this window. It's grown a lot more since I moved into this apartment and I feel like it needs to stay. It's a similar story with this guy who's growing these new little things that I have never seen before. So he definitely has to stay. Besides, I love when his little arms of plant get into my work. I think they're so cute and beautiful. Okay, I won't be sentimental with each plant. I'll just start moving them up here and see how they feel.
All right, so I might be leaving these three out of the picture. I am not sure if I can do that for certain, but I'm gonna try to put my other things up and see how I feel. I have plenty of places they can live. This one is not doing so hot here, so it does need a little bit more sun as it has been very dark, but these other two I adore and I am struggling to let them go, but I wanna give myself a little bit more space here. So I'm gonna try to rehome them. Okay, so I actually really love that guy there. I think it is Hazel approved. So if it doesn't find a home back on my work table, I am very pleased with it living right there. This one I'm gonna put by my kitchen herbs and I am still not sure about you. So I think we'll come back to this. I'm gonna move them off this table for now and uh, let's finish setting this up. Okay, so actually I reorganized it a bit and I think that plant can fit there and this is what over here looks like. And my goodness, is it getting dark quick? It's only three o'clock, but there is very little sun left. I really like the way it looks from over here though. The plants are just so pretty. Oh my goodness, it is getting so dark. All right, next up, it is time to put up my little doodads and oddities. So things like this wooden mortar and pestle that I love, but don't get to use very often because it's wooden and soft. This watering can Mr. Combo that I think is uh, the, my favorite thing that I've ever owned. It's just weird and I love it so much. It brings me so much joy. Um, also, this candle. I don't know what it is about these things, but they're just happy and I love them. And I forever need them a part of this table. And then there are just a lot of other things that are kind of along these lines of oddities. Don't necessarily need to be a part of the table, but I love them. They make me happy and I want them to be a part of my workspace. So let's put those around. And now for some of the bit more practical. Alrighty, now that about does it for everything that was already here. I'm gonna light the candles and then put up a few more things that feel a bit more wintry. Here we have it. It's become really, really cozy. The only last bit to add are some of the leftover herbs that I kept, and then it's done. All right, and now it's perfect. I may fuss with it a little bit more after this video, but for now I'm really happy.
goodness gracious, is that light going away quick nowadays? I usually can't film facing this way, but I can now because it is dark in the afternoon. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for coming along with me on this resetting venture. I feel so much better. It is something I needed to do today for myself and maybe it's something I needed too. I always feel better when I get to sit and organize something. Maybe this can be some inspiration or maybe I can just give the same feel good feelings that I have from doing this to you. Thank you again. I will be back to more regular content up after this video, but this is what I needed today. All right, time to wrap up the video. As you probably know, I do have a book that was recently published. If you're interested, it's all about spell work and witchcraft, so I will have all of that linked down below. I also have a Patreon, and that's really what keeps things running over here, so if you can and would like to, there I share art, mobile profiles, book recommendations, and monthly workshops. And I have another channel where I share more day-to-day -day life, herbalism, magic, all of those good things. So thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I will see you again very soon. Bye. Okay, you know what? Before I actually go, I need one more tall plant right here. Okay. There we go. Now it's perfect.